morning, Los Angeles. So here we are at the Korean town again because you want to make a second try to the Korean barbecue place. The one that we didn't get to last night because it was a two hour wait. So how was it? How long was it? 10 minutes. Okay, great. Yeah. You hear that? 10 minutes. 10 minutes, like 10 minutes. From two hours. Yeah, so this is the, the place. Do you guys want Korean barbecue? Check this out. Korean barbecue checked. Here we are at the Mac Center for Art and Architecture. Louis suggested it. And you want to go back to the first sign and make a break? Okay, first sign. Thank you. Thank you. Sticker. Sticker on. It's official. Quick intro about this place. This is the Mac Center for Art and Architecture. It was actually part of this house. It's actually the house here. Um, it's called the Schindler House. It was designed by an architect from Austria. It was such a departure from existing or traditional residential architecture because it does not have any traditional or conventional living rooms, uh, dining rooms or bedrooms. It's meant to be a cooperative living slash working space for two uh, young families. So going in, right, very modern. Uh, very clean, a lot of wooden structure, just like the, like a Japanese style. Yeah, as you can see, a lot of really thin structures. The window on the top, right, long and narrow, so that you can get this nice, interesting pattern and lights uh, going in and projected to the walls and the, on the floor. And so is the garden, like the way they trim the, these plants, right? Really long and the profile is pretty slim. Apparently there's an Easter egg that you can, we can actually go upstairs to the second floor that uh, Louis found out, so. Welcome to the sun deck. <laughs> so a few things I forgot to mention. One is I think the ceiling is a little low. Same as downstairs, they're the same height. And another thing is I think the windows are actually pretty interesting. One is because um, it can light ambient light in to the living area or the main space. But also if you are downstairs, you can know if the party is going on on the, the roof because you can see the feet, right? Louis has something to add regarding those windows. So let's turn to Louis. So to drop some architectural knowledge, as you can see here, the elongated side windows are basically one of the most important of the five signs of modern architecture according to the COVID gig. So it's kind of fun how all these elements show up in basically all of the modernist buildings. So yeah, nice to see the origins. I think it's really clear like how space is divided in this house. So if you see the slit window opening, the concrete wall, more or less a spacious space, that's the main space that you will use for any working or living purpose. So if you see, if you go into any space that is surrounded by these panels that are slightly darker, not as many lightings, that means it's a corridor, or hallway, or any connector um, structure. Exiting, go to another space, right? You will have a really similar structure of the space. So I think that's very intentional in the, in the sense that all the main spaces uh, were structured and designed the same way, so you can use it um, however you want. Oh, you're here. What do yeah, you think? Absolutely. Totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like it. I think it's very cool architecture. Uh, it's worth a visit. What do you think? Totally agree. I mean, if you're, if you're into wabi-sabi and materials, this is the place to go in LA. Uh -huh. It's definitely a way to go. If you're into design or architecture, go yeah. for it. Design architecture, go for it. <laughs> yeah. So moving on, this is Getty Center or Getty Museum. But actually, Getty Museum has two parts, the Getty Center and the Getty Villa, and we're not at the center part. But most people, they refer to the Getty Center as the Getty Museum, so just FYI. There's actually a tram that we can take uh, to go up to the center, but the line is just too crazy. So we decided to walk. 
it takes about 15 to 17 minutes and let's enjoy the view There's literally a lot going on right now or at the Getty Center so they have pavilions of pavilions and uh, it's not a bad idea to get a coffee, iced coffee, as matcha latte which I just did especially in this hot summer it's really nice yeah it's a bit foggy today but it's still pretty awesome So arriving Central Garden at the Getty Center So they said there are about 500 different plant species And they're always changing Never the same twice Which makes me a little bit suspicious about it But at the same time I think they're ambitious enough that I, that I like it So as you can see it's a really nice place to chill, to lay down, to hang out Take a break from all the walking and you're seeing Yeah, this is awesome so the difference between Getty Center and the Getty Villa is that Getty Villa has a collection of work from ancient Greece and Rome but the Getty Center uh, has worked about the pre-20th century European drawings, paintings, sculptures, manuscripts and decorative art so even from like here you can see the giant sculpture as well as these two little statues on the staircase Boom. So they kicked us out <laughs> So they kicked us out because it's it's already past 5.30. Yes, they, they close at 5.30. So if you come, be mindful of your, your time because it's super easy to spend over three hours here. So on your way down, it's a nice walk. But on your way up, it's a tough walk. If you want to do it, do it on your way down. So next stop, Beverly Hills. See you there. Beverly Hills, pretty self-explanatory, right? Luxury hotels, high-tier brands, shops, all those clothes, shoes, handbags, watches, jewelry, you name it. And I think it's cool, but my philosophy is less is more. So we're just gonna tour around, right? Just feel the vibe and then get to dinner, which is a super exciting place that Louis has made a reservation for. And let's stay tuned for that. Beverly Hill is beautiful, isn't it? Eight twenty-six PM, dinner time. This is the word and good design. Dinner at Spago is what completes your perfect day in Los Angeles. Dinner at Spago, which completes your perfect day in Los Angeles. The food is fantastic. The kitchen too is awesome, which makes the whole experience spectacular. And that's it for today. Don't forget to comment down below, like, subscribe, share. See you later. Choose.